At the top level, there are basically two categories for errors. Those that the system can detect, sometimes called stop errors, and those that the system cannot detect, called functional errors. System detected errors will usually cause the CPU to go to the stop mode if there's no organization block protection. With functional errors, something doesn't work right, but the system cannot detect what it is, and the CPU does not stop. The first category we will look at is stop errors. Some examples are hardware or communication failures, a wire break on an analog module, a program scan time overrun, or forgetting to download a block causing a block not loaded error. Here are the typical tools used for troubleshooting system detected or stop errors. The module information tool has a diagnostic buffer tab containing diagnostic messages from the CPU and a stacks tab which gives access to the blocks, interrupt, and local data stacks. You can access hardware diagnostic screens from the PLC menu of Somatic Manager and take the hardware configuration editor online for graphical troubleshooting of the hardware system. We will now show you how to access the different tools, but separate videos go into detail on how to use them. The first tool we will look at is the module information tool. While there are a number of ways to launch it, here is one. In Somatic Manager, highlight the Blocks folder, select the PLC menu, and choose Diagnostic Setting. Then click on Module Information. You can also launch this tool by holding down the Control key plus the D key. In the Module Information tool, the Diagnostic Buffer is a good first choice for troubleshooting. Here you can usually find general information on a system detected error. Click the Stacks tab. The Stacks tab contains the block stack, which shows the calling order of the blocks up to the fault. The I or interrupt stack, which shows the value of all the PLC registers and the status word at the time of the interruption. And the local data or L stack, where you can see the local data values of the organization block that started the call sequence. Stacks is a good choice for more advanced code troubleshooting where you need to see what values are in the different PLC registers at the time of the fault. But keep in mind that the CPU does have to be in the stop mode to view the Stacks tab. Now let's talk about hardware related errors. Select the station level of the project. Open the PLC menu again. Choose Diagnostic Setting. But this time choose Hardware Diagnostics. Any stations that have diagnostic information will show in this list. Highlight a station and click the Module Information button to bring up the diagnostics for that station. Alternatively, double-click Hardware to open the Hardware Configuration Editor. Put the Hardware Configuration Editor online to see a graphical representation of where there are faults on the system. While online, double-click a station to bring up its Module Information tool. Some advanced tools which can be used for troubleshooting include the force table, which allows you to overwrite input or output values regardless of their real-world state, enable peripheral outputs, which allows you to communicate with outputs even if the CPU is in stop mode, a breakpoint toolbar where you can set breakpoints and monitor code stepwise in statement list, also called STL, there are videos which show in detail how to use all of the tools mentioned in this video. This concludes Introduction to Errors.